Go. Hi, this is Andrew Machado with Appsure. And what Appsure is, is it's a plugin that you can install for your website that allows you to bring multimedia from all over the web to your page so that your readers can bring or can open all of this content without having to leave. And what I mean by that is, here's an example of a site called Flight Blogger. And you'll notice that there are these icons next to hyperlinks on the page. And maybe you don't know what Moses Lake is, but with Apture, it can open right on the page and you can view a map of Moses Lake. As you see here, we have an overhead map that can be zoomed in and uh, you can get an idea of uh, what exactly Moses Lake is like. Say, for example, uh, you want to know what Boeing Field is. With Apture, we allow readers to simply highlight a word on the page a search icon will appear above and they can within seconds find out exactly what Boeing Field is. Here's a Wikipedia article. As you see, it opens right on the page. We can even resize it if we want to learn more about it. And we can even show YouTube videos right on the page. So here is a perfect landing of a Boeing 787 landing at Boeing Field. And if you notice, we've done all that without leaving the page. Now let's talk a little bit about the, our new product, the Apture Search Bar. How the Apture Search Bar works is 70% of readers that come to your site scroll within the first second of viewing the page. And what happens when they scroll? They scroll past your branding and your search box. And with the Apture Magic Search Bar, we bring your brand back. And we'll, what I mean by that is if you'll notice here, as I scroll down the page, this bar just gently rolls in from the top, bringing your own brand to the page. We support high resolution logos up to 230 by 35 pixels in transparent PNG format. It brings social sharing buttons right to the dead center. So when a reader is reading your article, say they're three or four paragraphs down the page and something just resonates with them and they want to share it on Twitter or Facebook or via email, these buttons are right there dead center. We're finding in uh, preliminary uh, testing that these buttons perform two to four times better than uh, other competing buttons. And we bring a search box right to the front of that's always available when the reader is reading. So what this means is that, you know, say you're writing about a topic and you forget to hyperlink something like Boeing's new 747-8F jet, you can simply uh, allow the reader to just click it and, and search it immediately while they're reading and they can continue and, and possibly watch a YouTube video about it uh, all without leaving the page or they can simply continue reading. Luckily we didn't stop there though. We also bring up your own site search results. So here I am reading about the 747-8F and uh, maybe I want to read an additional article from this, uh, about this plane since uh, you know, I found this so interesting. I can simply click that, it opens a uh, new window and uh, loads up that article as well about the 747-8F. As you see here, it's officially airborne, which is pretty exciting. Uh, moving on back, let's, um, let's scroll down a little bit here. and. Uh, Let's take a look at maybe we want to know more about um, this guy who, who's the writer. His name's Flight Blogger. So I'm going to start typing in the box here. You'll notice that we start recommending results immediately. Uh, and we're going to keep going and we're going to search for Flight Blogger. And what's going to happen here is we're going to bring up content from uh, Twitter, his own site, as well as uh, Wikipedia if he's, he's been involved in that. So what I'm going to show you here is, as you see here, it says at Flight Blogger with a Twitter icon, and you can load a Twitter profile right on the page. This is a full Twitter profile. I can maybe see where he's from by clicking Washington, D.C. A map opens. I can scroll through all his latest posts here, and I can even recursively select back. And what that means is that I can sit here and be like, hmm, what's Beijing? I can highlight it. I click search. The search results are going to update on the right-hand side with information about Beijing. And uh, it's very cool. So here we are looking about Beijing. And, you know, we've done all this without leaving the page. Here's even a map. 
Um, so let's go uh, over here and notice that you'll see here that we have additional results from uh, Flight, Flight Global, this site here. But if I scroll down, you'll see that we also bring in Google results because let's say you can't provide the, uh, the article that somebody is looking for. We want to make sure that they can find their answers without leaving your site. And how we accomplish that is in browsers that are a little more advanced like Chrome and Safari, any of these links that you roll over here, say this uh, Beijing page, it's a Beijing online directory for covering all aspects of Beijing, it slides up from the bottom elegantly and loads right on the page. It's a fully explorable website that you can you know, scroll through and interact with. And uh, simply by closing it, you, you're back to your site and you haven't left and you've learned even more about Beijing. Now let's, let's take a look at some of the other implementations of uh, the Apture search bar. So Robin here is yours. Uh, as you see here, is, here's Robin Good's site. It's a, it's a beautiful site. As we said, 70% of readers scroll when they visit the page. So we're going to scroll down here and ever so gently there's Robin Good making his appearance in the Apture search bar. Uh, it just looks simply beautiful. The persistent sharing buttons and of course the search box. So we're going to go down here and see maybe Robin's implementation. Uh, Robin wrote about some alternatives to uh, using Ning, and you'll see here he's writing about a bunch of different companies that uh, a user may want to think about uh, looking into now that Ning is uh, making the services premium. So here's Elg, and I can highlight Elg, or uh, in this case, maybe I'm going to go to Google and look up what Elg is. And how that works usually is the, the user hits uh, control C on their keyboard or they hit control and they choose copy. And with Apture, we actually assume that if you're copying 40 characters or less, that you intend to do a search into a search engine. So when you hit control C or you copy text to your clipboard 40 characters or less, we perform a search immediately right on the page. And as you're going to see here, there's some additional data about uh, Elk that loads right on the page here, similar to what Robin's mentioned below. And uh, we even bring in the Twitter feed right here. And here are some additional articles that Robin's written uh, all the way back to 2006. And uh, some here's some new picks of the media picks of the week. So as you'll see here that the site search results are very rich. They cover articles that you've written. It's powered uh, by Google, so it's, it's uh, very relevant when the results surface. And uh, that, is, that is pretty much the Apture Magic Search Bar. It's 100% free, it's extremely lightweight, and it installs in seconds. It's fully customizable in terms of look. We not only allow custom logos, but the color, uh, by default, we build in a nice looking gradient, or you can choose uh, to make it a solid color, and we offer full hexadecimal support. And what that means is that you can just pinpoint that exact color you want, and we even provide documentation about how to do that. If you're uh, unfamiliar about how you would customize a color, we give you a, a full list of different colors that you may want to choose or how to perfectly match your site. Some additional publishers that use this product, we have uh, up to, we're just about approaching 2,000 users or 2,000 individual sites that use the Magic Search Bar. Uh, they vary. Here's one from Cycling Tips. This is a, uh, a site all about cycling, as you can guess. They use a beautiful logo here about cycling tips, rich imagery, and as you see, we can go through here, we can highlight Yolanthi's name and search, and we're going to immediately get results about Yolanthi, including uh, her Wikipedia article, some YouTube videos, as well as other articles that uh, he's written on the site about her. There it comes. So here we are. Here's the, the Wikipedia article about her some additional results from Google. And uh, as you see, it's a beautiful pink, matches the site perfectly. Uh, the World Wildlife Federation is also one of our customers. So as you see, I'll scroll down here past the World Wildlife Branding. The bar rolls in. It allows me to quickly find out what a tiger is. And we're finding that if a user interacts with Apture in any way on the page, they stay at, uh, up to two to three times longer. So what that means is that you install this bar, a user goes to copy text, the bar triggers, you know, there's a, there's a chance that they're going to stay on your site twice as long as they previously would have. So we're going to search for tigers here. And uh, let's take a look at some videos. And you'll see here we have, we have kids and tigers here. We haven't left the page, and the YouTube video is going to load up. 
<laughs> Save our tigers. <laughs> Funny, fittingly enough, this, uh, this article is about how it's a, there's only 3,200 3, surviving in the wild. And we also have bloggers that use the tool. Uh, here's short form blog. This is a blog all about saying it's read a little and learn a lot. So Ernie's very focused in what he talks about. And some of the additional features that we allow with AppSure is we can, you can set it up so that AppSure will auto enhance, as we call it, links to Twitter or Wikipedia. And what that means is Ernie's placed a link to Twitter already here on his page, and we put a little icon next to it automatically when the page loads. And when it's clicked or rolled over for a particular amount of time, uh, it loads up his Twitter profile right on the page. Uh, Internet, internet speeds may vary on this one. So as you see here, here's his live Twitter feed. And that is sort of a general overview of the AppSure Magic search bar.